Now let's talk about George Soros. The controversial financier is retiring. At 92, George Soros is finally ready to pass on the baton. His infamous organization, the Open Society Foundation, or OSF, is getting a new head. Who is this chosen successor? Will control his $25 billion empire. His son, Alexander Soros, goes by Alex, is Soros' fourth child. Who is this man? What has he done so far? And what are his plans for the future? Our next report has more. You know, on his, uh, Meet Alexander Soros. He's a 37-year-old billionaire philanthropist, an allegedly reformed party animal who now spends his time donating to causes like environmental protection, education in Africa, and helping domestic workers. And of course, he plays a role in influencing politics. Because Alexander, or Alex, is the son of George Soros, the billionaire financier who keeps getting accused of meddling in international affairs. 92-year-old George Soros is finally retiring, stepping down from his $25 billion empire, leaving the helm of the Open Society Foundations. The OSF is an organization which donates to political parties around the world. It supports left-wing candidates and parties. For example, George Soros is one of the biggest donors to the U.S. Democratic Party. He maintains that he supports causes like abortion and voting rights, that he funds parties likely to protect these values. But he's been accused of meddling in international politics and doing his best to crush conservative right-wing parties. Now, instead of rejoicing at the news of his retirement, the political right may want to be wary. It turns out their battle may just get tougher. George Soros confirmed his retirement during an interview. He said his son, Alex, would succeed him. Alex is Soros's fourth child. He has two elder brothers and an elder sister, and he also has a younger brother. Alex wasn't always going to inherit the Soros empire. His elder brother, Jonathan, was poised to succeed his father. But reports say Jonathan had a falling out with the family. And then, Alex apparently gained his father's support. George Soros says that initially, he didn't want any of his children to inherit the OSF. But then, he changed his mind and said Alex had earned it. It might be a reference to the journey of reformation Alex went through. Alex reportedly loved to party back in the day. A few years ago, he was making headlines for the wrong reasons. But since then, he's had an image makeover. Alex joined the OSF in 2011. He became a member of the board. Then he established the Alexander Soros Foundation in 2012. He uses this to donate to causes he cares about, like the environment and education. He also completed a PhD in modern European history from Berkeley. It's a far cry from the party animal life. And that might be how he managed to earn the OSF. Alex was present at the interview where George Soros confirmed his retirement. The heir then made a statement. He described himself as, quote-unquote, more political than his father. And Alex threw down the gauntlet. He said, and I quote, As much as I would love to get money out of politics, as long as the other side is doing it, we'll have to do it too. Yes, Alex will be continuing his father's tradition of funding politics. He's already been doing it as part of the OSF board, but now he'll be the one calling the shots. There are no questions about what he'll do in the US. Alex is known to be a frequent visitor to the White House. Those visits are likely to get more frequent in the run-up to next year's US presidential election. But what about the rest of the world? Where will Alex choose to spend the Soros billions? And how will right-wing parties fight the OSF's influence? We'll keep you updated as it all unfolds.